In the heart of Vienna, amidst the echoes of history and artistry, there lived a polymath of unparalleled talent named Ernst Fuchs. He was no mere artist. He was a maestro orchestrating a symphony of surreal realism across canvases, sculptures, stages, and the very fabric of life. Born into the grandeur of Vienna, Fuchs, a prodigious soul, found his sanctuary within the corridors of the Academy of Fine Arts. Here, under the tutelage of visionaries like Fritz Froelich, and later under the guidance of Albert Paris von Gütersloh, Fuchs honed his craft. Yet it was alongside fellow luminaries, Arek Brauer, Rudolf Hausner, and others, where the Vienna School of Fantastic Realism was birthed, a movement that would redefine artistic norms. Fuchs was a wanderer of worlds, traversing continents, imbibing wisdom from the brush strokes of masters and the wisdom of philosophers. Paris, with its bohemian allure, whispered secrets to him, while the United States and Israel added layers to his artistic consciousness. However, it was within the pages of Meister Eckhart's sermons and the alchemist's symbolism that his soul found resonance, echoing through his art in vibrant hues and intricate forms. The artist's journey wasn't confined to strokes on canvas. It extended to the restoration of the Otto Wagner Villa, a dilapidated relic transformed into the Ernst Fuchs Museum. Here his art breathed life into architecture, inviting visitors to experience a realm where reality blurred into the surreal. But Fuchs wasn't content with just the visual. His spirit soared through operatic realms, designing stage sets and costumes that intertwined seamlessly with Mozart's melodies and Wagner's epics. He even ventured into industrial design, infusing Timo Sarpaneva's Suomi tableware with his distinctive flair. Religion coursed through his veins, and it reflected in his art. The Dormition Abbey witnessed the birth of his monumental Last Supper, while the Rosenkranzkirche in Hetzendorf beheld the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, painted on parchment. His life was a canvas woven with eclectic threads, monarchist beliefs, fathering 16 children, and the eternal pursuit of the hidden prime of styles, a concept he championed in his book, Architectura Caelestis. As the curtains closed on his mortal tale in Vienna's Sophienspittel, Fuchs left behind a legacy woven with the threads of surreal realism, an indelible mark on the tapestry of artistry. Ernst Fuchs, the visionary, the dreamer, the master of surreal realism, his art an eternal symphony echoing across generations, beckoning the curious to explore the realms where dreams met reality and imagination knew no bounds. 